My hair is like everywhere. What? What? Okay. <laughs> hey guys, so today's video is going to be a get ready with me. I'm going out with my friends in a while and I decided to show you guys how I prepare my face. We're just gonna go grab some food, do some shopping, hang around, you know, just some girly stuff. And that's why I don't want to do something really heavy. I want to, let's say I want to go for a natural glam. Okay, so yeah, without losing any time, let's go ahead and get started. My hands are so dry, you guys, lately. I don't know why, but I'm looking for a nice moisturizing cream that absorbs quickly. I don't like those creams that they they leave your hands greasy and you can't touch anything, you know, it's very, it's very annoying. So if you guys have any suggestions let me know so on the face i'm gonna start off with some primer this is the jouet anti-aging moisturizing primer and i'll use my fingers to apply it on my face <laughs> for foundation i'll go with this one here by the brand makeup atelier and this is a super full coverage foundation guys and it's also very very matte that's the reason that i want to mix it with this max strobe cream this is going to make the coverage a little bit more sheer but it will also make my skin look very nice and dewy which is something that i love i don't i don't really like that matte finish anymore i used to love it now i prefer the more glowy healthy looking skin so i'm gonna mix them on the back of my hand and the shade that I have from that foundation, I'm not sure which one is it, but this is a little bit too dark for me. So mixing it with that primer, it's going to also make it lighter, so, you know. Applying it all over my face, look at that coverage. Applying it all over my face with a makeup sponge, and this is, this is by the brand, what it was. It was so easy. I forgot the name of the brand. I'm gonna have it for you guys somewhere right here. But this comes in a pack of two. One big and one small sponge. This is the big one. I don't like the small one. It's very, it's very hard. This one is very soft. And something else that I love about it is that it's very easy to clean. The original Beauty Blender is not very easy to wash and i like washing my sponges every time i do my makeup so you know i don't like spending like five minutes washing it this one i just put some soap on it i rub it and then i squeeze it under the water and everything is going out of it foundation concealer no matter what it's nice and clean after that the beauty blender uh I was like rubbing, rubbing, squeezing and I could clearly see that there was still something inside which was driving me crazy because you know I don't want to bring some old foundation that I used before five days on my skin again you know it's full of bacteria and you get the idea I want it nice and clean look at how glowy my skin looks I love it. Now I'm gonna spray it with the L'Oreal Infallible Fixing Mist. Um, now if you get this, you really wanna shake it super well before you spray it on your face or else you will end up with white dots all over your face. So yeah, make sure that you shake it well. Okay, I'm just gonna let that foundation set now while I'm doing my eyebrows, my eye makeup, you know, all of that. For the brows, I'm gonna use this Makeup Forever Brow Gel in the shade 25, brushing my brow hairs upwards. There are days that I really enjoy doing my eyebrows and there are some other days that I wish I was born with those super full, perfectly shaped eyebrows <laughs> but i'm not so i have to do some work i don't like to complain let's be happy with, with what we have right oh no <laughs> taking this brow gel here by zoeva i'm gonna use it to give my brows a better shape and if i have any gaps or something like that i'm gonna also fill them in with this Cleaning up the edges with some concealer. And eyebrows are done. Um, the magic of editing, right? It took me about 15 seconds to do my eyebrows. When in fact, it's about 15 minutes on each. <laughs> I'm kidding. Or maybe I'm not. 
Talking about editing, have you guys seen my Instagram videos? I'm always trying to add something more interesting. I'm always trying, you know, to do some cool effects. I really enjoy filming those. I really enjoy editing, although it takes me a while, but I love seeing the end result. If you haven't seen them, I'm gonna have my Instagram name right here. And also a link is going to be down in the description box. I really hope you guys enjoy watching them. So moving on to the eyes makeup. I'm taking some concealer and I'm gonna use that as an eyeshadow primer just applying it all my eyelid area with a flat brush and blending it out again with that sponge by the brand that I still can't remember and as always setting it in place with some face powder just to prevent it from creasing and make the eyeshadow application easier I don't want to use lots of eyeshadows today I want to keep it a little bit more natural I'm not sure what exactly I want to do but I know that I don't want to go heavy on the eyes I'm not sure if I'm gonna even wear an eyeliner I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do this is a palette by Zweva it's the basic moment one and these are the eyeshadows inside by the way I love Zweva as a brand they make so nice products and I love how clean their packagings are look at that look at how nice cute colors I love it so I'm gonna take this shade right here it's very nice soft brown color and using a flat brush I'm gonna place that in my crease they're a little bit pricey to be honest with you but if you're planning on investing in some good makeup products I would really recommend you to try out the Zweva ones using the same fluffy brush I have almost nothing left from that brown shade that I just applied um, I'm gonna take this, it's like a nude color, it's called Here to Stay and I'm gonna place it in the upper crease area, blending the edges of that brown shade just very gently using circular motions Taking the eyeshadow Make It Last, it's this almost white matte shade right here and I'm gonna place that all over my eyelid the brush that I'm using is by makeup addiction it's called medium shader making sure that there are no harsh line in the crease right here between the two colors okay nice very natural very simple I like it I'm gonna add some concealer under my eyes I'm gonna use this one here by Maybelline it's my favorite and how I like to use it is I just squeeze a little bit out and then I take it on a flat brush see and then with the flat brush placing it under my eyes I feel like this applicator is too big blending it out with a sponge and of course setting it in place with some face powder this is the L'Oreal Nude BB powder as you can tell I have to get a new one but I purchased this online and they don't have it in the drugstores here so I have to purchase it online again and wait for like two and a half weeks to get a new one so <laughs> yep what can we do? and I think that they changed the packaging of it I have the square one and I think that the new one is like round I'm not sure I have to check that out I'm dusting a very sheer layer of the Makeup Forever Ultra HD powder over my entire face. I want contour today, I'll use some bronzer. This is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Bronzer and I'm gonna use this super big fluffy brush. What I like to do is I kinda like to pinch it like this and then just very not precisely <laughs> apply that bronzer on my cheeks I feel like you don't have to be really precise with the bronzer you can go a little bit crazy with it because you know it's bronzer just make sure that you're not using a very dark shade for you also on my forehead and I'm blending it in with my hairline I want to look like I was on the beach the last I don't know 20 days I'll probably look like a lobster if I did but adding also some of the Ofra blush in Bellini I used that for the first time in my in my previous video I think not sure it became really quickly my go-to blush 
I'm adding blush and I'm also using these brushes of fun because it's super hot in here. <laughs> adding some highlighter. This is the Too Faced Love Light Blinded by the Light. So I was wondering if I wanted to do winged eyeliner because I think that sometimes the winged eyeliner can make the whole look a little bit more heavy, you know, but um, I'm feeling like wearing some wings on my eyes today. So um, this is the um, Ico Black Magic Liquid Eyeliner. Look at, look at this super sharp tip. Look at that. I have to be careful not to stab myself with this. So I ordered the Ardell Demi Wispies. I've seen so many people wearing these and loving them and I was like, I want them too, I want to wear them too. So I purchased them myself. The first thing that I noticed now that I have them in my hands and I see them up close is that the hairs are not very spiky. You see they're more like cut and not so pointed. That's one thing that I don't really like but I want to see how they look on the eyes. I was not planning on wearing falsies today but since I got this in the mail today I want to wear them. So I'm just gonna curl my lashes, coat them with some mascara and I just glow on the falsies to be honest with you they look very very natural and even though the hairs are cut they don't look bad on the eyes they're very very pretty i actually want to see how they look without any winked eyeliner maybe in the next videos why not i also want to add something under my eyes i don't want to do something very intense so again i'm going to take that brown shade from that same zweva palette using the sigma e15 i will place it under my lower lashes I will diffuse that shade with the Morphe M507. I'll add some brightness to the look with this shade right here. It's called Yet to Come. Placing it in the inner corners of my eyes and a tiny little bit on my brow bone. This little guy here, it drives me crazy. <laughs> but we all get those from time to time right so that's fine i'm gonna live with it moving on to the lips i will first go with this lip liner by colourpop on top of it i'm going with a lip gloss by Too faced the shade is called papadon peach and that's it so i really hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me i love watching get ready videos especially when i'm getting ready because it makes the whole process a little bit more interesting i feel like i'm getting ready with my friend or something and you know it's a little bit more fun you notice that everything is so pink today like my background my t-shirt my lipstick my nails <laughs> and this is all by coincidence i didn't plan to do any of this <laughs> today i decided to go for a little bit more fresh look i didn't want to do something very intense because it's still day outside and it's quite hot so um, I didn't want it to, to do something very heavy on my face so let me guys know if you want to see more get ready with me videos let me know what other kind of videos you want to see I just want to do something more different for my channel I want to refresh it a little bit I also want to thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget that you can follow me on my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and also visit my blog all of the links will be down in the description box and hopefully I'll see you in my next one bye